Okay, let's try some Abzu or Abzu. Abzui. Anyway, this is pretty much like regarded as one of the coolest little games going, all pretty and meditative and shit. Seeing as there's a meditate button there, whatever that does. Anyway, let's see how it goes. <coughs> I did play this game for like 10 minutes at one point and thought it was shite, so I can't imagine it changing. But maybe I was too hasty, seeing as so many people think it's great. Oh, I'm also streaming in much higher quality than usual when going from Xbox, so hopefully I won't run into problems that way. It was stuck on like 360p or some shit and I didn't realise it, so the last few broadcasts from my Xbox have been terrible. But let's see how it goes. And he's already dead. Uh, graphics are a bit shit. Though I imagine most of the graphics have gone on what's going on on the outside rather than actual this. Okay then, what buttons do what? I hope the buttons actually turn up in the right fucking place. Or not underneath there. Oh, there we go. To dive, right trigger. Okay, I don't need to hold it. I can keep doing it. Whee! Okay, I do need to hold it. So right trigger wiggles legs. Okay. Here to boost quickly. There's that black shit down the floor there. Um, some really crap sand apparently. Great, Dio is already interested in this game because fish, I'm assuming. I'm assuming I'm also meant to go through this hole here. Ooh, look, a big fish. Hello, big fish. Okay, so I can ride big fish. Goliath group, I'm assuming that's the name of the fish. <coughs> Still meant to be riding? No, there we go. Okay. It's reasonably pretty in its own kind of stylized way, I suppose. Um, it's very cobwebby. What's this red shit over here? Okay, that apparently released a bunch of dildos. Oop, another bunch of dildos over here. Oh, those aren't dildos. Yes, uh, just Abzu. It's meant to be really highly rated. Though, I don't really know why at the minute. Ooh, some sort of thing on the floor there. That's definitely some sort of sword dildo fish. Right, what do you do? You float around me, not doing much. Okay, I feel like he's just judged me harshly, whatever that thing is. Let's go, little bot. I probably should have explored that place better. Hey, look at a shark. Yeah, let, let, let's go explore a little bit more first, shall we? Where's my camera control? I have no camera control! Oh god! 
There we go. Um, is this the one that I've already interacted with? Yeah, it must be. Cool. Ooh, another one of those things over there, look. Let's see what that is. Okay, so I have two of these little things, wherever they are. Dio seems to find them interesting at least. Dio, stop that! Um... Okay. I'm not going to be able to find the way out now, because I've already fucking interacted with it, haven't I? There's a big statue over there. Statue of a shark? Okay, there's still red shit around where I went, so I can still find it, okay. Let's see what this says. Wait, wait. It's all glowy shit. Who's this dummy? Is this another one of those things? Dio, you're making it very hard to see the screen. Dio, come on. Yeah, there's another one of these. Okay, apparently these release fish into the world, so... A fish been captured by something? Where's that glowy thing? There is. Okay, let's have a look at the statue. Where's it got oh fuck it's right here? Is that it? Oh no, there it is. What does this statue do? Press view button to me- what's the view button? Is that the view button? Yes it is. So, I'm- what, inside this fish now? Board, let me out. How do I stop? Get off! No, come on, let me off. There we go. Jesus. Right, let's go follow Mr. Shark then. I got three of these fuckers now, Shark. Yeah, it's not really as pretty as everyone is making out, is it? A lot of it seems to be very 2D. Right, so shark went through there. Can I go round it? Just in case. Maybe I can look around. Okay, there's nothing there. I don't think there's anything there. It's actually fucking up my eyes a little bit. Oh, how do I swim? Oh, that's why I swim up. Yes, I remember. But having the camera on the fucking swim inverted is weird. Okay, so apart from a brief shark, I've not been playing this for 10 minutes and nothing's happened. Yeah, hold on. Where's the settings? Camera normal. That's better. Ooh, what's this? This is big and shiny. Yeah, having both inverted is really fucking weird. Can I swim into it? Apparently I can. This seems to be weird and ghostly. And I appear to be flying rather than swimming now. Flying in some sort of weird swimmy motion. Oh yeah, I can 
speed up again, I forgot about that. Right, let's go see where this thing is then. <coughs> it's fucking far away, that's what it is. Some sort of sea blob. Yeah, I'll be honest, I've swam in the Sea of Youth at times. I don't remember this kind of shit happening. So this bit that was underwater is now even more underwater? What? And fish can fly, you know, as well. Well, at least I know where I'm going now. Have a look, is there anything around on the floor? In the double water? Seriously, why is there two waters? I mean, I'm assuming I'm in the water here and there's more water down there. Which is... Frankly bizarre, I'll be honest. Anything down there? Can I swim into that extra deep water? I'm gonna assume no. I can? No, I can't. Okay, so that's some sort of extra deep water you can't swim in. Music's alright though. Okay, that's just a bit of mosaic art. Assuming I'm going up here. Yeah, there we go. The yeah, controls aren't particularly good either, but then it's a swimming game. Controls are never good in swimming games. It does appear to be a little bit relaxing, but then there was a game on the Nintendo 64, possibly the Wii, which was literally just an underground sea thing where you could swim around looking at fish and stuff. That looked way better than this. Hello, shark! No! Guy, I've only just... What am I going to do now? So, shark's a dick. Dio, I can't see my diver if you're doing that. Stop it. Ooh, look, I found the Triforce. I was expecting at least have to do something there, but apparently not. Nope. Dio's definitely entranced in this game anyway. Feather Shark didn't really do anything other than bite one of my little guys. Seriously, a fucking loading screen, uh, loading screen in a game like this. Dio, what have you found and are now trying to eat? Oi. What is it? You're a fucking sellotape, idiot cat. Yeah, but it didn't kill, because it was just a yellow thing that wasn't really alive. And seriously, loading screen, come on. I know it's a fucking indie game, but Jesus, come on. Putting a bit more effort than that into your loading screen, so there we go. Totally relaxingly shutting behind me. Right, let's have a quick look around, see if there's more shit to collect here. Yeah? And by collect, I of course mean, you know, I appear to be in some sort of tide. Redfish! Oh, oh god. Things happened, I don't know what. Assuming more redfish. 
Fuck you, redfish. I don't know what's happening, but I'm going to keep doing it to you guys. Apparently I'm making friends like a bit in Forrest Gump. Dio, get down, I can't see the redfish. Dolphins. Oh, more redfish. Let's get the redfish. Yeah, I'm not convinced there's any point in doing the redfish, but it seems to be doing something, so... Redfish! Redfish! I don't know, I haven't played Journey yet, have I? Shush you. More redfish. Is collecting redfish a big part of Journey? I mean, this seems to be behaving like I'm doing something pretty epic here, but I'm just swimming about a bit with some redfish. Oh yes, I will be playing Journey at some point. Of course I will. Down we go. Up we go. That's turbo. Hey, big open area. That means there might be things to collect, yeah. More redfish. Oh, the redfish stopped doing things. Okay, I'm not allowed to go that way then, so it's... I'm only allowed in the crate a bit of this. Okay, there's another one of those red barriers, which means surely there's one of those yellow pod guys around here somewhere for me to find. Hey, clam. It doesn't actually seem to be anything to find down here. So I'm assuming it's going to this big black area over here. Hello dolphin guys. Yep. There's a hidden way in the big cave thing. I really need to get that game for the Wii, which is basically this underwater exploration thing. I'm pretty sure that had like more realistic graphics, and it was a lot prettier. Right, quick check to see if there's anything else in this area. It doesn't look like it. None of the. Ooh, is that a pool? It is. What fish will come out of this fucking thing? Grey Reef Shark? I, I don't want to be releasing sharks, come on now. Surely there should be warnings before that kind of shit. Is there another one over there? Yeah, it is. Like, I'm, I'm not really sure what this releasing fish thing is all about. Hey, puffer fish! I like puffer fish. Although most of them are fucked off over there. Okay, so I need to look out for those kind of things. If you see any, point them out to me. That's a big ugly fish. I think that's all of them. Let's go down here. Do your thing, little bot. Who's probably going to get eaten by a shark. It was like a rock pool underwater, yeah. Which is pretty weird. Another one of these. Hey, it's the bit for finding Nemo. 
Redfish. <coughs> Redfish. I mean, there's also blue fish this time, but... As you can see... Ooh, oh, fuck. Yeah, you got, um... Much important. Dio, you're making it very hard to see the fish again. Did I just see something on the fucking wall that I missed as I was trying to catch the fish? This is where sharks live, in reefs, apparently. Hello, fucking orcas. Oh no, I've missed a bunch of red fish because of you fuckers. It's their own fault for making me miss the red fish. I can't even see myself anymore. Oh, there I am. Okay. Like, I'm not convinced there's a point in me trying to catch these fish anymore, because I've just missed one lot of them. Why are orcas your favourite fish? Woohoo! Oh, another one of those temple bits, look. Make this underwater world even more underwater worldy. Fox and Napoleon. F oh, the ugly fish, yeah. It's not an insult if they're actually ugly. Statement of fact, truly. Oh, why do these bits have to be so far away? Unique things can still be ugly. Look at anglerfish. And those weird leathery things with teeth. Okay, what's in this blob? Orcas. There was already orcas. Here we go. Filling the underwater pool with more water. Time. God, I need to sit better. I'm hunching. My back is killing me. That's the problem with fucking playing from a couch. Go to discover or collect in these areas. Or if there is, I have, of course, completely missed them. This is the this is the fast swim mode, by the way. I'm gonna smash parts. You smash parts. No, nope. too hard to control. Can't smash the parts. Ah, this looks like a huge bit. So where's the shark gonna turn up from? Well, this is a rather huge area. Let's go see what all these fish want. A swordfish, a cool fish. Oh, 
There's some kind of th ah, there we go, it's one of those massive fuck off doors again. Swordfish are cool fish, much better than anglerfish. Oh, it's a head, swim head first into the door. There you go, shark didn't get him. Well, this looks awfully polluted over here, so I'm assuming no 20 minute loading screen again. Oh, look at you with your technical term names for fish. It's a bitey, nosy fish, and you know it. Well, no, ugly fish is the technical term. Well, this area looks a lot more polluted. Huge golden chain. Well, it's more green than golden. In fact, it's it's green. It's not golden. It's very not golden. Oh, it's one of these bizarre fucking fish. I like these things. Just because they're fucking weird as fuck. Look at it. Look at that thing. How is that even a thing? Right then, let's get this bot. Ooh, and there's a pool over there. Hey, Cyclic. So far, the gameplay is boring as fuck and nothing is happening. Let's see what fish we get here. I'm choosing to believe that Dr. Robotnik has captured all these and hidden them all in the water. They're called angelfish or something, aren't they? Or archerfish. Not angelfish. Angelfish are cooler than that. Okay, well it's awfully confusing to swim through there. Ah, shark! Okay, so to get forward I obviously need to do something with these chains. I'm going to check this middle floor first, then descend to the lower area and search there as well, see if there's anything. I'm guessing what with all the little light caves and stuff down there, there will be. Yeah, I'm not convinced gameplay is the right word to describe what's happening here. Right, I'm assuming that cave over there, not there, that one there, is where I came out of. Yep, that's the one I came out of. speed up a bit. Right, can I check the floor at all? Ooh, yes. Let's go down to the floor and see what's down here. Is that another bot? Another bot. Ooh, and there's more pool things down here. Another Eggman prison. Dio is probably, like enraptured with this game. She sat underneath it, underneath the telly, just staring up at it. Occasionally glancing at the USB cable she sat on, deciding if she can chew it or not. Yep, 
The answer is no, Dio. You may not chew my USB cables. Right, this is where I found the bot. See, I, I was close with whatever it was that I said, so it's a sunfish. Angels are basically suns. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything over here. Let's go check out those light caves then. I lost the light caves. Oh, that's a wall. Yeah, it's definitely not a light cave. Right, let, let's let's go back up. At least then I kind of know where I am. Right then, there's the light cave. Guarded by a sunfish. Thank you, little guy. Oh, look, there's a little CNN and anemones. Uh, quick swim around, see if there's anything in here. Before interacting with that chain, it doesn't look like there's anything. Surely you don't have the strength to do that underwater. Also, I'm not entirely convinced that's how those work. I mean, it's not hard to find my way out here. I didn't need the fucking camera. I can tell where I was. Okay, so into the other... Sun Cave. Now, if I play Journey, I have to learn how to actually stream from the PlayStation, none of which I've set up yet. There's another one of those statues there, and over there. Can I sit in these things as well, like the last one? Nope. Can't seem to sit in the. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the pool I found earlier. Right, okay. Let's go check out this chain room then. Oh, this isn't even a room. I mean, I could probably just plug my proper headset upstairs into the controller. And it would work, because that's got a microphone built into it. I don't particularly want to faff about it at the minute. Okay, so that's water pouring from underwater while underwater. So open the gate. Is there anything up high? Apart from shit far too bright to fucking see? No. How high can I go? What's up? Ooh. Something over here. Okay, so that is the type of statue I can sit down on. Hey, shark. Meow. I wonder if it will show me any like hidden areas if I watch them long enough. What do you think? Why is it a scalloped hammerhead? Like, there's loads of those hammerhead statues down there. But that's also one of the things... That I couldn't interact with. Oh yeah, those sunfish are like fucking six foot tall, by the way. They're massive. Like, ridiculously big.
<laughs> That's some nice audio there. Has the music just broken? Because I can't hear music anymore. What's in here then? Ooh, something. Something shiny. I think that's a snail shell. Okay, so there's collectibles in this game as well as these things. There we go, music's back. I think. Yep, yeah, music's back. Um, and there's the door I need to open. I think that's everything. Ooh, what the fuck? They're huge. Dugongs? See, so that, that appears to be water flowing underwater, look. Yeah, that's just bizarre. Right then. Ooh, another one of those ponds. Or Eggman traps. The lionfish are cool as fuck, but stay the living fuck away from them. Uh, it's quite high, I should probably go up and check just in case there's stuff up here before coming back down to there. I'm still not sure why I'm doing any of this, mind. Um, yeah, it's a little overgrown up here. And there doesn't seem to be anything to do. I was hoping I'd be able to dive out of the water there. Like I did to those fucking orca earlier. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything else in this area. Let's carry on. Hello, new person. Or should I say unknown person, because you may not be a new person, I may already know you. Because it's probably like Sedge popping in to see if anything has happened in this game yet. Hey, shark's back! Let's go punch him in the nose. Come here, shark! Ah, chicken shit, get back here! Anything through here? Yes! No, there isn't. Ooh, what's that? Shiny thing! Yep, definitely some sort of conch. Not conch. Snail shell of some description. There's something awfully drunk looking about that statue. Still though, fought apart from a shark bit one of these little yellow guys earlier on. Another big area? Oh, it's another one of these areas, right. Quick look, doesn't seem to be anything around here, so here we go.
Time for a loading screen then. Oh no, loading screen comes through the massive doors, not through this bit. Are those the ones I found? No, there's way more. So it's these things I'm collecting the shells for, apparently. It'd be cool if they were just swimming around without their shells, until I found their shells. And again, I don't think things happening is really meant to be a part of this game, is it? It's just like an interactive, relaxing experience-y thing, with the occasional shark attack. This bit still doesn't make sense to me. Why is he raising a water level under the water? Whales or sharks? They look like sharks. Whale sharks, technically I was right both times, was I? Are they basking sharks or something else? I think they're whale sharks. Ooh, another cool indoor bit. That appears to have a river underwater again. Now I know there are technically rivers underwater and stuff, but I'm pretty sure they don't look like that. Um, okay. There we go, interact with this thing. Oh, okay. Um go up. Oh, no, there we go. Doors opened. Well, I'm assuming I'd be able to see shells quite easily in this area because of how bright it is. Or rather how dark it is and how bright the shells would be. stuck in the gate and see through my own head. Don't seem to be anything there. Oh, another one of these meditating things. Let's see what fish I get this time. Hey, Nemo! Nemo fish! And some other things. I'm going to assume that the meditation bit at the start of the game is literally just an option to sit in all of these and watch the fish as some sort of weird, relaxing screensaver, maybe? Like, I'm assuming this is meant to be telling a story of some kind as well, but fuck if I know what it is. Someone smashed it up. 
For some reason, this game is making me really hungry. And I think that's a bit weird. Oh, gigantic loading screen coming up again. Okay, so far, apart from the second time, two of them things have gone in every time. So I'm wondering if I've missed one during that second phase. And there's a lonely robot dead on the seafloor somewhere that I've completely, completely neglected to save. Well, then at least it didn't get eaten by a shark. I think these loading screens are getting shorter. While I do eat fish, I don't fucking eat any of the fish I've seen in this game yet. Chuck some tuna in there, maybe a bit of cod. Shrimps. Prawns, I'm sure there's a difference between them, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, big fuck off whales. That's a very, very small blue whale. Like, very small. Okay, it's taking control of me again. Like, I'm pretty sure big uh, blue whales are much bigger than this. Like, much, much bigger. Eats the fish. Incidentally, they've only got like an, a throat the size of a grapefruit. Anything bigger wouldn't fit down them. Again, they're so small. And again, I have no control over any of this. Well, I can swim up and down a bit, that's it. There we go, that's a blue whale. Hey guy. Where's the wink button? Yeah, they are very plastic looking. I'm really not sure what all this amazing looking commentary about the game was, because it really doesn't look that good. I mean, it's obviously stylized and everything, but still. Ooh, I can do tricks! That, that's not how you do tricks. Okay, they appear to be mines. I saw in a charge of mine in the face. Yeah, goblin sharks, those things are fucking weird looking. Like, I'm pretty sure mines don't actually act like this. But if there's mines ever, this is going to be a really awkward place to explore for no good reason. Oh, that's a huge dead whale. Fuck off, mine. Wonder if they're heat seeking. That'd explain things. What the fuck are they? Other than weird. Well, let's follow this then. 
Oh god, mines everywhere. No! I'm dead! Okay. Getting electrocuted underwater does not kill you! Good to know. Yeah, it would be strange if suddenly mines could blow the living fuck out of you here. Right, that's the one I've already explored, let's go to the other side. Okay, there's an upper part as well I then need to go and look at once I've found all these doors. There's a meditation shark up there. Right, that's the pool I opened up earlier. So, down here time. Oh no, let's go straight down the middle this time. So, where was the huge door I saw then? Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's nothing up here. Dive down and follow this one. And again, not give a damn about the mines because they don't seem to do anything. Oh, another pool. There we go, speaking of anglerfish. A lot of them here, they're gonna murder the fuck out of me. Come on, guys. Is that the best you got? Your electric has no effect on me underwater. Because it is, of course. Underwater is the safest place to be when getting electrocuted. Life hack tip for everyone there. Are we basically just opening the door for this shark to do things? Because that's not right. Little fucker. Right, hopefully these things are all off now and I can actually explore. They're off. I'm going to assuming there is no die in this game. It really doesn't seem like the die type of game. Seriously though, this is full speed swimming. Come on. Oh no, it's just a boost for a little bit. Okay, that's shit. Okay, where was that shark statue? Over there somewhere, wasn't it? What the fuck are those invisible, shiny things? Obviously not invisible, because I can fucking see them. There he is. I don't know goblin fish's eyes glue. Glue? Glowed? Shut up. Yeah, anglerfish, you show them how to eat things. Look how cool they are. So fucking ugly, but so cool. Oh, sorry, viper fish, not angler fish. Eh, viper fish are boring. Angler fish would have been more interesting. Uh, I'm gonna assume that I've missed loads in this area because it's so fucking dark in here. Shell. For whatever reason I'm collecting those. Oh, 
I'm not going any further here because this place is fucking massive, so let's just... Oops. I didn't do it. Am I also on fire as well as electrocuted? And can I do anything interesting while I'm electrocuted? I think it just slows you down, for literally no other reason for underwater electrocution. Oh, something's being murdered! Poor shark! Can I save you, shark? Or can I teabag you? If this doesn't result in me having a... Yep, yeah, no way you're strong enough to do that underwater, for fuck's sake. If the shark can't do it... Right, now eat them. Bullshit. That's more bullshit than the fucking late shift last night. Hey, huge fuck off wheels are back. Well, this place is huge. Can I swim down? I'm going to assume I have to swim down, seeing as that's where they're going. But the scope of the game is pretty fucking big, isn't it? Squid! Weird looking squid, but squid nonetheless. I see that light over there, but I'm going to check the floor first. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything on the floor here. I'm going to have a quick swim around to make sure. Hello, person's just joined. What the fuck? Ooh, hatchet fish, nice. I think it was more interesting earlier on when I it was like possessing one huge fish when watching it swim around attacking things. Well, it wasn't really attacking things. Okay, so the shark is pointing the right way. Let's have a quick swim and see. Is that a jellyfish? Yeah, that looks like the edge here. Uh, let's go check around the other side. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're a shell. Good. Yeah, it's gonna end up with some sort of massive party involving the shark. And then the police will burst through and arrest him under my bed. Hmm. A lot more shit on the floor in this one. Now for another confusing bit. Well, so far everything that's appeared is, like, alive and real, so the chances of a Megalodon turning up are quite slim.
Still, I'm kind of enjoying this, but I have no idea why. Squid! Again, underwater levels rising underwater. Yes, they were real a long, long time ago. Like, there's nothing in this game so far that doesn't exist now, apart from weird underground water magic. Actually, maybe the game on the Wii U is called Blue Ocean or something like that? Deep Blue Ocean? Or oh, Deep Blue Sea is not a film that shit. Yeah, let's go through the tiny hole. What could go wrong? So, some sort of alien ship? I don't think I'll swim low in this one. I'm going to go straight for the light. And by straight for the light, I mean accidentally swim the wrong way. Somehow. Fuck off with your beepy alien minds. Don't make me get shark on your ass. Maybe that's so we can electrocute you because it's alien electric. Loading screen. What game shall I play after this? Seeing as it's quite early. As soon as I've just swum into a massive underwater alien ship, I'm going to assume this is the last chapter. I'd have to learn how to set up the journey and... Eh. Fuck you, Electric. Only wimps give in to Electric. Um, I've got the bunker, which is the other interactive movie I have. I feel going for the bunker so soon after the majesty of late shift might diminish the impact of it. Supposed to be swimming through that. Nothing else hidden about here. Oh wait, stuff is still happening there. So what it's saying is that this alien ship created mankind. This is what jump-started life. Probably by getting electrocuted. There is an achievement in this game for not getting electrocuted. It seems that sort of game. And if there is, I've totally fucked it up. Hey, mines! You know what? I'm just gonna slam the A button and fucking go for it. What could go wrong? This could take a while. Yep. Yeah. Oh god! Don't mind me, mines. Ju just coming through all of you. Oh god.
Like, I'm assuming this is meant to be an important thing, and it's meant to mean something, that you're getting shot this much. Or maybe there's a safe path through that I've just completely ignored by bombing straight down the middle of it all. Oh. Swimming head first into that didn't help. Yeah, I think what could go wrong has actually made itself quite self-evident. Ooh, big shiny. Hey, shark. Glad you could join us. Diggity. Thank you, shark. Okay, so maybe that's how many times you can be electrocuted. Loading screen. Du -du 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 -du. Slightly longer loading screen. Yeah, but the relaxation part of the game quite clearly ended a while back. Nope, still alive. Fuck you and your alien electrics. I'm way tougher than you. Where's my shark buddy gone? And why would he attack the eye? Murdering us all like that. Am I some sort of robot then? I appear to be a robot rather than a human, so... Oh, shark buddy! I wonder if you're meant to be caring about this shark or not, because I kind of don't. But if I'm a robot rather than a stylized human, it may at least explain why I was strong enough to lift shit. Okay, my left foot isn't even fucking attached to me there, come on. Also, dead fish kind of float. Just gonna put that out there. Hey, the surface, sort of. Wee. Okay, so you can jump, sort of. I see some glowy shit. What's this? Some sort of weird crabby things. Right, so there's a path over there. There's a path over there and there. There's quite a lot of paths. So, let's go this one. This path is blocked off. Not a path. Oh. Yeah, fuck you, water. I'm gonna climb and walk around for the first time in the game. Jesus, all this time with his fucking speed walker. Okay, so there appears to be a lost city of some description underwater. 
with a bunch of birds in it. Wee Splosh. Okay, those are Hammerhead statues, I can't meditate on them. Oh, there's another pool. Let's see what fish are hidden in this one. Anomalacaris. Don't know where they are. Now there's the door leading out. At least I'm assuming that's the way out. Now that's just a glowing bit of wall for some reason. Oh, there's another pool. And a T Rex skull. Okay. Helicoprion. So here we go. You might get a Megalodon at the end of this now. Apparently, this is the robot that jump started life as we know it. Maybe. That's the one I've already opened. Yep, that's the one I opened earlier. Is there some over here? Huge bunch of bubbles. This is where I fell into the water. Okay. So I think that's all the underwater pools done. Let's look a bit higher. Oh, there's another door. With glowy shit inside it. I'm assuming I can get out again here. Weird swimming position. Get over there. There we go. So yeah, robot. Yeah, that's really not how chains work. There should be a lock on that. You open the lock and then it unfurls itself. That's just weird. Well, at least that water isn't underwater for a change. I didn't see anything. I should be collecting there. There's another shark thing. <laughs> Tiktalik. Oh, well done, Tiktalik. Look up to the fucking wall, you idiot. Seriously, what the fuck's wrong with this fish? I mean, its eyes are on the top of its head, so technically it can't see what's happening. Yeah, he's an angry little fucker, isn't he?
And that seems to be everything there. If there is a shell in here, I've got no idea where it would be. Or why I should be collecting them in the first place, but... I'm assuming that's a waterfall there. Anything in this corner? Nope, nothing in that corner either. This is just a rupa fish. A quick swim around first, just to make sure there's no shells for whatever reason. Interact with this shit. Nope, can't interact with that. Another random waterfall. Yeah, I can't see myself giving this game any more than maybe a six. Just because nothing really happens in it. There's no gameplay. Like, I'm not even controlling this bit. things. Ooh, can I make a running dive from here? Go on, dive, dive. Wee Brontosauruses! Oh no, they're not brontosauruses, what are they called? Macleodons? I can't remember. I used to know this kind of shit. Still, the chance of Megalodon has definitely gone up. a wall. Wonder why I couldn't go there. Again, I'll ignore the door for now. One of those long neck motherfuckers again. Them's be weird fish. Like if... Like I'm assuming I'm meant to be collecting loads of shells, surely... I can't have found all the shells, because... I had so few of them. Let's go this way then. Oh, Dio's woken up at last.
Okay, one fishy watery thing done. I'm assuming the other one is all over this side. There's another one of those pools, but I think it's one I've already opened. Yeah, because it's got blue shit in it. Nothing over that side. Or if there is, I can't see it. I'm assuming this will open the door. Again, underwater pool will fill up with water because physics. I mean, maybe it's magic water, seeing as it's all glowy, bluey, and shit. And you know, opens doors. Fucking all miles away. Hey, Dio. Oh, she's off to her bed for a sleep now. She's had a nice bit of meditation in front of the TV, and now it's time for a proper sleep. You know, you couldn't fucking sleep when I sleep, could you? No. That's why you run around like a cunt. It's a pretty big city and everything. Though it's slightly annoying that the swimming simulator has become a walking simulator. Nothing feels as smooth here. So I'm going to jump off again. Yep, looks like it. Oh, another fast bit that I've got no control over. Okay, these aren't red. What's this bullshit? I'm here for red fish, not this shit. I'm still not sure what the point in collecting, if that even what I'm doing, those fish. I make them glow in some way or other. What am I doing? Just scaring them off? Also helps when I can see myself fucking amongst all the fish. I don't have a clue where I was there. I 
Hi guys. Quite impressive that there isn't fucking horrific slowdown there. Like, it's really impressive that there is a ridiculous slowdown there. Loading screen. Blob. Hey, I've brought the sharky guy back to life. appear to have restored myself as well. How cool. Control again? Yep, good. So what's this? Fish heaven? Come on, shark bro. Let's go. Haha, -ha, fuck you. I'm tough as fuck. Revenge of the shark bro. Fucking aim would help. I think I'm gonna go that way. That's the way I came from, isn't it? I mean, there's a lot of shit around here. Like loads of it. Oh, more fish to fly through. I mean, swim through. And another one of these, okay. For whatever reason. I'm assuming I'm lifting the water. So, has anything in this game actually made sense yet? Orcas!
So what I was seeing earlier was flash forwards to these bits. By the look of it, for some reason. A load of fish following me for some reason. If I was meant to collect all the fish, it's going to be a little bit annoying because I've missed one the entire time. Also, what happened to the little yellow dudes? I mean, they helped me get this far, and now we've just forgotten them. I'm choosing to believe we're flooding the earth and murdering everyone on it here. them in this one. Excuse me fish, but you're making this very fucking difficult for me to see. Get under the fucking water. There we go. Swim up, swim up. Huzzah! No, dig up, stupid. There's the squids. Come on, shark bro, let's go. Mr. Whale. Oh, there we go, I'm in control again. I've got a sort of army to destroy this thing that killed me earlier. Oh, Mr. Bet. In there, fish. No, no, no. In, in there. Seriously, get in the fucking hole. There we go. Just pausing for a minute, cause. I say pause, it clearly didn't make any difference. Ha, ah, fuck you, are you? I've not to touch the controller for a couple of minutes now.
Okay, that appears to be it. Yep. That definitely appears to be it. So I'm kind of left thinking and asking, where was the game exactly? No narrative, really. None of it really seemed to make sense. Ooh, can I collect that? I'm still in control. Yeah, fuck you, I've got whatever that was. So I'm pointlessly in control for the credits. On Shark Buddy. Let's do a 360. Stop letting me down, Shark Buddy, come on. Also, it's a bit cheap that there's things to collect in the fucking ending credit scene. Uh, look, our playtesters. Fuck naming them. Go fuck yourself, testers. What, why does the Oba Soloist... ...and no one else... Oh, there we go. There's the rest of them. I've lost my guy again. Oh, there I am. See if I can swim directly at the fucking camera. Come on, shark boy, let's get the camera. Ah, bullshit. Automatically turned me round. Wait, what text? Of course, outsourced QA. Again, none of the QA guys get their names at Enzyme. Oh no, they are. That's okay. Oh god, why the fuck have they got nicknames? That's just depressing. At least they got names in there. Where's my guy gone again? Oh, there he is. Let's just leave him floating in the middle here, so I can see him, just in case. That's a really strange game to have the Unreal Engine. Giant Squared! Davy Jones! Roger that, let me try with another film. So, yeah. Kind of enjoyed it. But nothing happened. Like, at all. Oh, no, that's not true. Shark bit, and there's a couple of electric bits. Jesus, is this even a massive fucking loading screen for the menu? It is, as well. Anyway, cheers for joining me to play Abzu, which, let's face it, was kind of crap, but in a strangely enjoyable way. I'm going to try and come back with another game in a bit. Let's see how it goes. Cheers.